Good afternoon. I'm a few minutes early. Let me know when you get here. Yes, my shoulder is much better. I almost went on my butt this morning. <laughs> um, Tinkerbell, who is my, I think she's about 13 years old, blind and deaf toy poodle, decided to move her food bowl right in the middle of the walkway. So picture this, it is dark in the bedroom and I get up, going to the bathroom was fine. Coming out of the bathroom with my water bottle, cigarettes, my letter, whatever else, trying to go out of the bedroom and I almost went right down. I tripped over her food bowl. Yeah. Tweaked my shoulders just a little bit, but took some Advil and I feel fine. So we're good. That means I get to paint today. I need to paint today. I didn't paint yesterday. I was very tired. My knees were killing me from working all day on my feet. And going up and down ladders just kind of got to me. But today I'm going to paint. And I've already gotten, hello, how are you, Miss Stephanie? I've already gotten a ton done today. Done three loads of laundry, vacuuming the bedroom. Actually, I'm not vacuuming. My little robot is vacuuming. Um, I sewed all of this week's blocks and sewed next week's blocks. Yes, we're going to do two different blocks next week. So I've already gotten a lot done today and walked the dogs about a half a dozen times already. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just, yeah, Toy Poodle decided to, to put a mine in front of, in my walkway in the middle of the night. So it was dark and I almost went flat on my face. <laughs> Made a lot of noise. I was surprised my husband didn't wake up because I have metal bowls. So literally took her little metal bowl and flipped it completely over with all her food on the floor. I love my robot. I love my robot. Love, love, love. I will tell you, I have I've gone through um, one of the generic robots. Nothing beats the Roomba, though. I got the Roomba, lower end Roomba, and... I love it. I'm sitting here sewing away while it's vacuuming my bedroom. Love it. I have a lot of boards. So anytime, we have to do it when the dogs are put away because Nola likes to eat the vacuum. And I do mean eat the vacuum. She don't like the vacuum at all. Anyway. Are you caught up, Miss Stephanie, on your blocks? Yep. That's okay. 
some of these will get cut up really fast and not difficult. They go together pretty fast. This week we're doing stripes. Next week we're doing two different log cabins. We're doing the mini ones and the super large one. Just because there's not a ton of them. And I'll show you. Want to see? So we're doing the stripes today. I got all mine done except for one, so I can show you. They're all basically the same. It's just a matter of colors and size. And then next week, we're going to do the itty-bitty log cabins and the big log cabins. So we do two of these and six of these. Boy, the colors look really bright on the video, on the camera, don't they? Not that this isn't a bright quilt, but so next week we'll do two different blocks. Same block, just different sizes. I'm trying to see. Okay. I guess we will start. This one's gonna be fast. Because really, it's not a lot. Let me know if you have any questions, issues, anything, and we'll get going. So we've got six blocks. All I'm going to do is do three pairs and then put the three pairs together. Okay? Simple, simple, simple. I'm really liking this. Are you liking this, Stephanie? So all I did was just, I'm going to cut them, I mean, lay them on the ironing board with the solidish darker color up top so that I can heat it, set the seam, and just flip it over, and the seam will be towards the solid color. Good. Color is good. Not my own color. I like color, especially rainbows. I love rainbow colors. The brighter the better. All right. Now, what? Don't forget. Um, if your seam allowances aren't perfect, that's okay. Don't freak out. As long as your seam allowances are consistent throughout, you will have no problem putting the quilt together. What's going to be, what will happen, either the quilt will be a little bit smaller than they say, or it'll be a little bit bigger than they say. No big deal. So don't freak out. I do recommend best press and starching, especially a lot of these smaller pieces because they will help you keep everything together without it stretching. The only thing you have to remember is which color is first, so you don't get them all mixed up. So here we are with our three, and now I'm going to put the three pairs together. Okay. 
I love this quilt. I love, don't get me wrong, I love Tula's fabric for the most part. Some of it is a little bit out there, but this, all of these fabrics are basics, are some of my favorite. The true colors. I just love them. Now, I've got my three pairs together. So again, I'm going to keep this one on top so I can set the seam and move it over. And then I'll turn this one down, set the seam, and pull it over. Just so that all my seams are going in the same direction. That's it. The only difference is the colors and the size of fabric. So it's just going to be a lot of stripes. Told you this is simple. Most of these are going to be really, really simple. They're good. This is a great quilt. Not just a good quilt, but a great quilt for um, getting your seam allowance down. Learning different blocks so you're not having to make 15 of one block. If you, you don't get bored as easily. So I think this is going to be a really good quote for everybody to learn a little bit of a little bit of everything. Um, so next week we're going to do the log cabins, and then let me see more log cabins. Then we're going to do half square triangles and flying geese. So I'm going to see what kind of fab how much fabric I have. I might play around with the fabric with the, the fine geese if I have enough fabric. Um just to give you a couple of options that I think you might like better. If you happen to have Studio 180 wing clipper ruler, that's what I'm gonna use, I think in my some of my fab and some of my flying geese mainly the ones where we have the same two colors back and forth not sure how it's going to work with the rainbow for the um body but we'll see only because you don't have a ton of duplicate stripes in the body but we do have like here the yellow Flying geese, but we're doing multiples of the same one. So we'll do a couple of options. How's that? Any questions, Miss Stephanie? We might miss one week. Um. If we do the log cabins next week, the following week, it's going to be more log cabins. So I might take a break and let you guys just do that on your own. I'll show you the first set and then you can do the second set and we'll pick it up a week later. Um, if I look at the calendar, let's see. See how this is going to work. So we'll do next Monday. We'll miss. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, so we'll do next Monday, which is the 6th. We'll miss the 13th, and we'll pick it up again, again the week of Thanksgiving. And I think that'll work. I'll put a note out to make sure everybody gets that, but I think once we do the log cabin once, you guys can do the other two log cabins on your own. All right, now I get to change and go paint. That'll give you another week to get caught up to. All right, I think that's it for me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, the rest of your weekend. I'm off to go get dirty with paint.
no matter how much I use gloves, everything else, I still get paint on me. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye.